Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today I want to show you how to add a column really quick and a scenario in which you may want to do that. So here's our trace file. Um, first things first, you'll, you'll see there's uh, some of this, these columns are squished together. So right up here we get a little gray icon on the toolbar, resize all columns, and that makes it a little easier on the eyeballs. Uh, the next thing is uh, this looks like some sort of loop uh, or a device hammering another device. From here, what we need to do is, of course, we need to add some extra columns or use the uh, View Packet Details pane. Um, either one typically helps um, identify any other anomalies. So in this case, what we're going to do, we'll leave this up. We'll leave the Frame Details screen up because it's going to help us in just a bit. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is if I was to go to Edit, Preferences, and from there we change. Let me just bring this over, jump to this, another screen here. And I was to go to Columns. I can add a column, and I've done that in the past. So I want to show you another way of doing this. I'm going to just cancel that. One of the things I need to do is I want to make a column that has the IP time to live. So if I was to go to the IP protocol header and I was to come down here to time to live, I can just simply right click, apply as column, and now there it is, time to live. So if you don't like where it is, I can just take, drag, and drop. There you go. So now I can see the time to live in this case is decrementing by two, which again helps understand the problem a little bit better. The second thing I may want to do is look at the source MAC address to see if it's bouncing between router interfaces or servers or whatever. So I'm going to collapse this header. I'm going to come over here to the Ethernet header, and there's my source MAC address. I'm going to right click, apply as column. And now I've got my source MAC address. Again, I'm going to take this, I'm going to drag it over here just before my source IP address, uh, just to make life easy. And again, I'm going to auto size. There we go. So now I can see it started with one MAC address, and then it just kept coming back from just another one. Um, so now I see my time to live, and I see the MAC addresses involved in this. And this is obviously some sort of loop. If I want to further prove to myself that it's the same packet, I might want to add the IP identifier, which is a just a sequential number given to every IP packet. That's good enough for a definition. So I'm going to open up this IP header again. I'm going to come here to identification. I'm going to right click, apply as column, and there's identification. And again, I might not want that there. I might want that before the protocol header. And again, I can always resize my columns. So there you go. So now I can see it's the same IP identifier. It's the same um, source IP address but there's a different source MAC address so that tells me a lot as well. So this uh, little trick of being able to create a column on the fly without having to go to edit preferences column and all that nonsense is an extremely helpful time saver. If I'm done with the columns I have a few options here. If I just want to get rid of these temporarily I can just simply hide the column and, and then that way later on I can just unhide them. But if I'm done with this forever, as my uh, niece says, I can remove it. So I can remove it, and come back here, and I can remove that one as well. And I'll remove this one as well. And I could also do this within edit preferences and all that nonsense. So here we are back where we started. So hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.